Hello, 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 good people. It's Selaviathan, and we are back with another reaction today. Today, we are continuing Orient episode six we are on today, I believe. And man, yo, episode five was a little bit sadistic. I can't, I can't lie, but it was good because we, we learned more about Su Sugumi and we got a little bit more of her, like, character growth and development. So it was pretty great, honestly. Um, quick recap of last episode, you know, we had... Um, what was his name? Um, the Costa Meta brand. I believe his name was Hideo, the main guy. He basically has no fighters. He has nothing. And there's a bunch of Bush, uh, Kishin that were about to come in and basically kind of um, destroy their their whole village and whatever. So he wants to like, like um, basically like get everybody to start fighting, like children, um, uh, women, you know, like people who aren't fighters and like. Sugumi is not with this, you know, but the whole part of the episode was like her kind of going through this internal struggle where she kept listening to this guy for some reason, kept thinking that like he was strong or whatever. But I think it was just mostly that she just um, missed her. I guess she missed her sister, number one. And number two, she was really desperate for like some sort of like family or something. And she and I think that guy really um, used that fact against against her you know and kind of abused her and whatnot so whatever you know Kosameda is or Hideo or whatever his name was he's an asshole and he got his comeuppets last episode because Sugumi ended up taking him down on her own so really great episode not a lot of uh, Musashi and Kojiro stuff but I assume going into the next couple of episodes we're gonna start seeing some changes in, in into like a, a more of a actiony type of thing especially with Musashi because my man has not even got his sword yet. Like, we've it's already episode six. You know, I think there's only twelve episodes of this of this anime, at least for the season one, and he still has not gotten his sword yet. So, I'm thinking this episode we're gonna start seeing some character growth on him and actually start to know what this um, what was that power called? I think it was called um, cannot remember. It's at the tip of my tongue. That little energy that they that they absorb or something from the Kishin. Uh, it's like literally at the tip of my tongue. I'll 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 say it when I remember it. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, good episode, good episode. Anyway, um, I'm gonna get started with episode six reaction. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe down below. Turn off notifications as well so you know when I upload next. And make sure you check out the Patreon. The link is down below in the description. You know, you get full uncut reactions of this anime and many more stuff. Definitely a lot more stuff worth checking out. And it's only for $1. So it's really worth it. <laughs> anyway, though, we're going to get started with Orient Episode 6. Uh, I'm trying to remember what it's called. It's like bothering me so much. It was that weapon that they had. Um... Uh, whatever. I'll figure it out this episode. Let's just get started with episode six. Let's go. By the way, I finally figured out what that thing was called. It's called Kitetsu. That weird energy or whatever the weapons are, Kitetsu. I'll remember for next time. Wait, hold on. Did we just completely skip the battle with the Oni? How, why would they off screen that with us? I thought I thought there was a whole battle that was kind of getting built up for this next episode. Man, I'm disappointed. I, I'm disappointed. Why the hell would you off screen that shit? So stupid, man. Never off screen fights, man. Especially if you're a shonen. Especially if you're a shonen. Um, one thing that I do remember from last episode was like that guy with like the black cloak that got introduced at the very end. I don't know what's going on though. I think she I think they're forcing her to go with them. Those are the right kind of townspeople that I like, man. That old woman, she was, I know she she met well, but she was kind of kicking her out for no reason, man. <laughs> その方が<笑> 
But you did stand up to him though, man. It's it's a tough life, honestly. Imagine living your whole life without ever ha making a decision for yourself. This is the first time she's ever making a real decision for herself to really go out in the world. So you know what? I respect that. I respect that, Sugumi. Hey, that's some that's some strong that's some strong stuff right there, man. Family isn't by who you're related by blood with, man. Family are the people who stay with you and who take care of you. But this Hideo guy, I don't I don't consider this this guy family, man. Nah. <laughs> Ohana means family. Mirai no yume. Omae ni mo so yu no ne no. Ya, demo. Ima no watashi wa. みんなを守るどころか、すがりついてる。もっと強くならなきゃ、ダメだよね。セガミアネちゃん。セガミアネちゃん。来たぜ、大会通りで。いつまでも待っているから。みんな。<laughs> okay, they're still trying to find that one Kishin. Hey, it looked like there was like elements inside that crystal, so I think they're going after a lightning Kishin or a thunder Kishin or something. <laughs> こんなに父を押し付けられては、こちらに山しい誤解を与えるではないか。そういうことだ。これは。ゲオ大切にしたい。ああ、man、ムサシ<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑
はこちらの親父さんの形見だ返せ入った My guy went for the horn and his little pole thing or whatever broke. What happened to his pickaxe, by the way? Because that thing just disappeared. Okay, I see plot. I see what you're doing here, plot. Yo, who is this guy? Cause he, when he turned around, I looked at him and I saw, and I thought to myself, yo, this guy right here looks like he's slain a bunch of Kishin. What kind of metamorphosis is he going through right now? Cause you had like stones coming out of him. Hey, all right. I see the animation actually <laughs> trying right now. Okay, I see it actually trying right now. Now, one of the most important things is this guy in the gray hair, friend or foe? Because it sounded for a second like he was a friend, but he looks like a foe. Yeah, I had a feeling too. I think he I think he needs to I think he needs to find the one that's bonded with him or works with him. The one? Who's the one? Who is he looking for? Ooh, a shaman-like character. That's interesting. Is that a, is that also a Kitetsu type of blade, or do they only need Kitetsu blades? Or there, could there be Kitetsu staffs too? Oh man, this guy's like a sword freak. <laughs> Dude, him and Zoro would get along. That was interesting how he said that. Some dogs for hire that aren't important. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. <laughs> That makes sense. The only thing that can take out a Kishin is the power of a Kishin. That's a very, very common anime trope, though, to use the enemy's power and powers against them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never realized how simple it was though that you can just go and buy one, man. I thought you had to actually like be worthy or something. So, or in episode six, into a good episode. I liked it a lot. Honestly, I don't know. Like the overall arching plot of the show, I feel like I would want more out of it. But at the same time, what we're getting is. Pretty entertaining, so it's not that bad. The only thing I've always had issues with is just the the lack of um a lot with the animation, but that's normal. But anyway, uh, episode six was good. You know, we got we we finished up uh, the off-screen battle of the uh, Oni things. That was annoying. I hated that they off-screen that Kosa made a battle, but I think they wanted to just move that plot along, and and I'm glad they did because we moved on from it fairly quickly. That Tsukumi scene with like Musashi and Kojiro, that scene was hilarious. I fucking loved that scene. That shit was funny. Like, 
all three of them were so awkward. Musashi was probably the most normal. Kojiro was hiding behind saying, I have no experience with women. Musashi's a minor man. He probably has like ladies coming at him like 30. <laughs> like laughing he's like of course he's gonna be good with the ladies he's a minor man they're always popular with the ladies <laughs> it's fucking hilarious oh my god that scene was really good and i love the fact that she was like so awkward too and like her sister gave her some of the worst advice in the world <laughs> if you don't know what to do just take off your clothes <laughs> that's that's terrible advice but anyway it was a good episode we did we met those two characters um that we didn't learn their names of course we'll probably learn some more about them a little bit later but they call themselves dogs for hire right so they're definitely bounty hunters mercenary they don't seem like bushi i thought they were bushi before or they might have been really strong bushi but they might be doing their own thing so i'll we'll have to see more on that but that whole scene also was very interesting too because they didn't explain a lot within the scene itself, but there was enough within it that we kind of could, um, kind of grasp, like, what the, um, how, how Kitetsu blades work, you know, how they absorb the Kitetsu. I don't know what was going on with, like, the, the rocks coming out of his body. I'm assuming that was all in his mind, Musashi, and that was just kind of, like, him kind of, um, for the very first time, wielding a Kitetsu blade and feeling its power, right? And... It was interesting also to note that they disappeared like in a second and all the blades were gone too. So that's very weird and scary. How the hell did they do that? It, it was like, were they even there to begin with? Was that all in Musashi's head as a way for a test? Because when he came to Musashi, he was like, he came to his face. He's like, are you the one I'm looking for? Are you the person? And like, he had like the creepiest look in his eye. You saw that. Like his pupils were very vertical for the whole episode, but then they literally went horizontal for that scene. That's how fucking intense it was. <laughs> he like really like came in, put his face in him and said, are you the one I'm looking for? He's like, nah, you're not. Sorry. And then disappeared. But whatever. We learned that you could f buy kitetsu blades so i think that's what we're gonna do next episode so i'm glad that sugami kind of actually cleared that up for us because this whole time i kept thinking to myself like how are we gonna get a kitetsu blade how is musashi gonna get a kitetsu blade because kojo already has one but it was great because now we're at the i guess we're nearby a bunch of bands of bushi so i have a feeling episode seven is gonna introduce us to a lot of information i just i just have that feeling you know the next episode is gonna introduce us with like bushi knowledge um kitetsu knowledge things like that and then i think we're probably gonna go and fight the the next oni soon if we if we do get to fight the next oni soon in this um in the in this season because i have a feeling the season finale might end with them fighting that 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 Kishin, but whatever. Anyway, um, that was already in episode six. Great episode. I will leave it off there. Um, again, thank you guys so much, so much for the support you give. It's so appreciative. I fucking love it. It makes me more motivated to keep doing these reactions, and I love doing them. Honestly, it's it doesn't feel like work. It doesn't feel like any like um forcing myself to do anything. This is something I genuinely enjoy, and I'm glad that you guys genuinely enjoy it with me as well. But with that note, I will end the video here. I will see you guys around. Peace out. Salaviathan out. That was so redundant. Peace out. Salaviathan out. Stupid as hell. I'm gone. Bye. Retar yeah. Bye.